I'm just finishing trimming up the uh, outer stem, or sometimes called the false stem, for the um, dinghy. So let me show you how all these pieces fit together. So what I have here are two pieces that are going to make up the stem for the boat. Now the stem is the structural member that creates the bow of the boat. Now the, the, where, the stem that I've made here is what's referred to as a false stem or a two-part stem where it has an inner part and an outer part. So let me show you in this diagram. Well, this diagram shows a conventional rabbited stem where the stem is one piece and then a rabbit is cut in here for the planks to receive in there. Now this requires it being probably a rolling bevel in here so that it changes depending on where the planks meet. This outer line here is called the rabbit line and the inner spot here is called the inner rabbit line. Then this back line where the planks are on the inside is called the bearding line. This is always at a 90 degree angle so that those planks will meet in there. So this requires either a piece of timber that many, the traditional way was a grown uh, crook so that the wood grain would run similar to the way the shape of the bow is, or it was divided up into different sections to make up a solid piece. Now, this is uh, the way that I built the haven. Uh, the other way that I'm going to do for this is what's referred to as a false stem. And what that is, is that there's an inner stem here that is the structural part of the boat and that it is then beveled and fared out to the rest of the frames and then when the planking is put on there it's allowed to run wild and then they are all cut off even. Then an outer stem or what's called a false stem is attached to the outside and then this is fared to the shape of the hull. So this is what I'm going to be doing for Victoria and in order to get a nice curved strong piece I'm going to laminate together several pieces of uh, oak together in order to create that stem. So you can see that this is what I've created here is an inner stem here out of some laminated oak and then my false stem or my outer stem fits on there like so. So in order to get started uh, with the lamination process, the first thing to do was to select a nice piece of white oak that was quarter sawn that Steve had given me when I was picking up materials for Victoria.
In order to cut the strips in a uniform fashion, I've set up this little jig so that when I set my stock in here, I can run it over and just bump into that and then bring the fence up. So that will ensure me that I'm cutting a 1 16th inch slice off of there. And I've got this one back here was set up for the uh, strips that is a 3 8 So now that I've got that set up like that, all I need to do is just run it through the saw. So you can see that gives me a nice uniform 1 16th inch slice. And then to do the next one, it's simply following the same procedure of bumping the stock over to that jig, moving the fence over, and going at it again. I've got all of my strips cut. They're all uh, 1 16th of an inch thick. Uh, because I um, was using oak, I decided to cut them thinner like that so that I would have, that they would make that bend easier. Because that's really the trick with laminating uh, wood is that you cut it thin enough that it's able to make that bend without it breaking. Uh, so you can see that if I, um, so what I have here is the lofting board that uh, I had to extend for um, the entire boat. Uh, but it actually is just the part that has the stem on it. Uh, so this would be the top and this would be down at the keel. Um, so you can see that these bend very easily uh, around that. So what I will be able to do then is to glue these together and then uh, put them on the board here and bend them around. Um, what I need to do first is this dashed line here is the outside of the inner stem and I need to make up some blocks in here that are a uniform thickness away from there that is the thickness of my stack here. And my stack is exactly an inch and a half. So that's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some uh, blocks on here that are exactly an inch and a half away from that line for my between my inner and outer stem. And I also have a stack of here of more uh, pieces that I'll then be able to do the outer stem with.
just getting ready to glue this, uh, oh, oh, yeah. just glue yeah, this up. Glue. Yeah, you gotta be right on top of that. Doing the stem. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the picture that I spoke to John Fox, and he remembered that too. So. Oh, did he? Said so yeah. he had a couple other pictures around there to find them. And then he We need help with a clamp or can I hand you I, something? I think I've got it organized here. Yeah, yeah, you probably got a video going too. Huh? Yeah. I better stay out of the picture. <laughs> just say, oh, remember him. Remember that guy? Yeah, you better, better stay. <laughs> yeah. Spend a lot of time thinking about doing this. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice, it's not too cold outside. I stopped once and looked at your shelter that you're putting together. Yeah. Is there any way I can help you with that sometime? Well, sure. It's like a, it's just a matter one person of, job would be kind of tricky. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got it. Maybe one other clamp like I'm that. Add, huh? Yep, one more clamp on there. It's okay. Didn't want to the video. <laughs> nah, not a problem. Yeah. Have you been away for the holidays? Uh, no. Turn this stuff off. Well, it's been 24 hours since I glued it up. Now, after I got it glued up, I, of course, cleaned off a lot of the squeeze up. So we'll see what we, uh, what we have here, get these clamps off. We need to clean up, squeeze up on the back side. All right, now that I've got uh, most of it all cleaned up, uh, I'm gonna take apart my jig here and get my area a little cleaned up.
All right, now <clears throat> I've got my inner stem here. And what I need to do now is to clamp on uh, the outer stem. So I have some more oak strips here. And these make up about three quarters of an inch. So what I need to do now is to glue these around the outside like that so that I have an outer stem. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take some shrink wrap and I'm gonna completely wrap the inner stem so that the outer stem won't glue itself to it. Okay, so now that I've got that all wrapped, uh, what I'm going to do is to take my um, strips here and I'm going to get them glued up and I'm going to basically follow the very same process that I did with the inner stem by uh, clamping it to this. Okay, now I've got that all clamped up. It looks pretty good. We got some good squeeze out. So I'm just gonna come by and clean up as much of the squeeze out as I can. It looks like our two uh, inner and outer stems came out pretty good. So I'm gonna cut the plastic off here. So the next step is to uh, clean these up a little bit and get them trimmed up to the size that they need to be.
now that I've got these pieces cleaned up, what I can do is to lay it back out here on my lofting board and line it up with this, that line that is a critical part of the shape. And this is where it meets the station. So I'll mark off this so that I can trim it off. And then do the other end too. Well, that fits pretty good. Now I will um, put the bevel on that well when I'm starting to fare out the rest of the frames. I also wait to for the outer stem or the false stem. I won't do anything until to it until I actually have the planks on there so that I can fare it to the hull. So I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you that have sent me well wishes on my health. It feels good to get back into the shop and get working on the boat again. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the Art of Boat Building. <music>